What do animals do in the winter time? As temperatures drop and food becomes scarce, have you ever wondered what happens to all the animals? Where do they all go when the snow starts to fall? And how do they manage to survive for an entire season without any food? In North America, animals have evolved several different strategies to help them survive the winter months. Some animals will migrate when the weather gets cold. Many species of birds, for example, will fly south for the winter in search of places with more food. Other animals have evolved special adaptations which help them withstand the cold. The Canada lynx, for example, is built for winter. It grows a thick winter coat and has huge snowshoe-like paws that help them easily walk across deep snow. But some animals don't do either of these things. Instead, they'll sleep the winter away. Animals that sleep during the winter are actually undergoing a process called hibernation. During hibernation, animals may appear to be asleep, but they're actually in a state of dormancy. In order to achieve hibernation, animals must lower their body temperatures dramatically, almost to match the outside temperatures itself, and they have to reduce their metabolic activities to a near death-like standstill. Both their heart rate and their breathing rate decreases. During hibernation, animals won't eat either. Instead, their bodies will use up fat and carbohydrates that have been stored within the animal's body after a long summer and autumn of eating as much food as possible. However, animals that hibernate won't spend the entire winter in this complete state of dormancy. They will occasionally wake up, and this is because hibernation isn't one long continuous process. It's actually made up of multiple bouts of torpor. And what exactly is torpor, you might be wondering? Well, essentially, it's the animal equivalent of energy saving mode. Everything we just talked about, the lowered body temperature, reduced metabolic activity, all of that's torpor. It's just when torpor occurs over more than one day and during a specific season, that's when it becomes hibernation. Some animals will undergo torpor every day, regardless of the season. This is called daily torpor. Hummingbirds, for example, rely on torpor to stay alive. These tiny birds have an incredibly fast metabolism. They can consume anywhere from one and a half to almost three times their body weight in a single day. But at night, hummingbirds can't see or feed. So in order to literally not starve to death, hummingbirds have to use torpor to protect themselves. A lot of rodents will also do daily torpor to help them survive. Some example of animals that hibernate seasonally include marmots, groundhogs, and bats, and a whole lot more. Okay, so what about bears? Are bears actually hibernators? A lot of scientists don't agree on this. Some say they are hibernators, and some say they aren't hibernators. Their body temperatures don't get low enough to actually be considered a true hibernator. It only decreases about 3 to 5 degrees. But bears do achieve torpor, and they can remain dormant for several days. Instead of hibernation, some people refer to what bears do in the wintertime as denning. This refers to the den that the bear makes or locates in preparation for winter. Bears will search for sites which will provide them with the best protection from the cold and any disturbances that might wake them up during their dormancy. A bear may dig its own den in the side of a hill, or it might look for a hollowed out tree, or maybe a cave to bed down in for the winter time. But if a bear is disturbed by something outside its den, then it may abandon its old den to search out a new one. Pregnant female bears will give birth to cubs during the winter time, so it's especially important for these animals to find a den that will keep both the mother and her newborn cubs safe and warm during the winter time. Want to learn more about bears or hibernation? Come check out the BC Wildlife Park. Hope to see you soon.